So this happened about two weeks ago, so you've probably heard of it already. But Zuckerberg is planning to get a bunch of AI engineers and pay them nine uh, figure salaries, which is 100 million, you know, minimum. It could be more than that. Uh, so if you have 10 of those engineers, that's going to cost you a billion dollars a year, which is pretty crazy. I wouldn't go as far as calling it a stroke of genius, but of course it does guarantee that you can get whichever AI engineer in the world that you want, regardless of where they work, unless they're willing, you know, unless OpenAI or Google are willing to match that salary, which I doubt. And to be honest, um, this is Zuckerberg's own doing, because for some reason, whilst everyone else was focusing on AI, they decided to spend years and billions on this metaverse that no one cares about, didn't have 20 users or something. Uh, they're too early on that, so, you know, it's kind of pointless. And yeah, so anyway, let's get into it. So frustrated by Yan Likun's inability to advance Llama, and by the way, they had to make it all open source because, I mean, okay, Facebook Meta, whatever, they do have a history of making software open source, so perhaps they were going to do that. But I still think the primary reason that they made everything open source is to catch up in the AI field whilst they were dossing around in the metaverse uh, and, you know, selling virtual land to people. AI, uh, so where are they seriously competing? With? We're just going to read this bit and then we'll get to the comments. So Zuckerberg has decided to employ a strategy that makes consummate sense. Good word. To appreciate the strategy in context, keep in mind that OpenAI expects to generate 10 billion in revenue this year, uh, but would also spend about 28 billion. It's so crazy. I mean, I know we're in that sort of stage of building infrastructure, but the, the fact that they're still going to eat 18 billion this year is crazy. Leave it in the red by about 18 billion. My main point here is that we're talking big, big numbers. Yeah, that's fair. And, you know, at the end of the day, if you're spending a billion to make 10 billion, it doesn't really matter. Zuckerberg has decided to bring together 50 ultra top AI engineers by enticing them with nine figure salaries. Whether they will be paid 100 million or 300 million per year has not been disclosed. Uh, but it seems, and by the way, I think, is 100 million what the CEO of Google's on? I don't actually know anymore. I'm just making that up from something I heard a few years ago. Uh, but it seems like they'll be making a lot more in salary than they did at their last gig with Google, OpenAI, and Anthropic. This is crazy to me. Because I thought, I know there's big money in AI, but I kind of thought they would be like, the top engineers would be on like, you know, maybe this is delusion of me, but on like half a million to a million. I didn't really think that there were any jobs out there where people were getting tens or hundreds of millions, like actual jobs, you know. I know people, CEOs and stuff can earn that. I didn't realise... Uh, there were many just normal engineering jobs where that was the case, if you will. And I'm sure there isn't. Um, but it seems like they will be making a lot more in salary than they did at their last gig. So if he pays each of them 100 million in salary, that will cost him 5 billion a year. Yes, 50 times 100 million. Uh, indeed. Consider OpenAI's open expensive. Suddenly that doesn't sound so unreasonable. True. 5 billion a year. But I guess the difference is, is where that money is going. This is going on wages, whereas I imagine, you know, a lot of this is going on like infrastructure and server costs and stuff. So it's not like, you know, Facebook is still going to have all those costs. Meta, why did they change name? I guess it's not just Facebook anymore. I'm guessing he will succeed at bringing this AI dream team together. Probably. It's not just the allure of 100 million salaries. It's the opportunity to build the most powerful AI with the most brilliant minds in AI. Big win for AI. Big win for open source. Hopefully. You know, whether you hate Meta or not is sort of beside the point because I, they do have a history of making things open source and I'm pretty sure they stomp even Google. Google, you know, in the past have made quite a few things open source, uh, created programming languages and whatnot, but Meta definitely has produced the most open source software. So, opinion time. Counterpoint. Five billion is just for those 50 researchers. A lot of other costs to consider. That's sort of what I said. You know, here at when we're talking about 28 billion in spending i imagine most of that is not salary you know a lot of that is cost server cost uh, because they are in a deal with microsoft um yeah and you know you've got millions of people just using chat gpt to create ai images uh including me just for me uh zuck has a history of burning big money on r d with theoretical revenue that doesn't materialize true ai is different in my opinion he spent billions on well, the metaverse, as we already know. Um, I think he made a mistake. He was thinking on this like 10 year horizon, which sounds really clever. Like, and you know, it will pay off. It will pay off, I, I imagine, eventually. But it was the wrong thing at the time to spend the money on when technology is moving so quickly. I think all of his money should have been going into AI. 
And to be honest, if AI actually ever reaches its potential, then AI will accelerate everything, right? So it actually makes sense to first go in and go all in on AI, even as a civilization, because if you crack that, then everything else gets made. Everything after that is made easier. Uh, so Brooks Law, creating AGI isn't an easily divisible job. And yeah, and keep in mind, we're nowhere near AGI. I think at best we're going to get something which sort of looks and feels like AGI, but isn't actually AGI. Uh, it's just huge, huge amounts of data with some clever algorithms in there and billions of parameters and predicting the next word. Uh, it seems reasonable to assume that the more high-level experts on the, uh, enter the project, the slower it will progress given the communication overhead. Yeah, I think um, this is, I would say, somewhat fair. There's like generally, <clears throat> I don't know the number, but isn't there like a thing, something that, <sighs> I, I don't know the exact saying, but the sentiment is like something like a team of four can pretty much achieve the same as like a team of 10. Now, obviously that's not entirely true if that everyone is like optimized, but I think it's more a point of the fact that, you know, there's communication and stuff like that. And not everyone, sometimes, it, it, how many people can be working on the exact same thing, you know, without sort of wasting time. But yeah, exactly. Also money alone doesn't make leadership effective. True, OpenAI has a relatively single focus. Meta is more diversified, good point which can lead to a lack of necessary vision in this one department. Yeah, I feel like Meta is always sort of uh, just trying to make... They're basically always trying to optimize their money-making, which is advertisement, right? And Zuckerberg has come out and spoken about this black box where, you know, a customer comes to them, we want to give you an advert, and then the AI is going to create probably maybe even millions of different adverts that are personalized for each individual person and then push the one which gets the most clicks. That's probably their use case of AI. Hopefully they, hopefully they still open source the actual AI underneath. And OpenAI has a really simple sort of, whether they will get there, I don't think so. Like again, is they have a simple goal, which I like. Same as, you know, SpaceX, whether you like it or not. SpaceX has like a mission and OpenAI has a mission. OpenAI's mission is to make AGI. And everything they do is to, whether they will achieve or not, is beside the point because every decision they make is to get closer to that goal. Um, Whereas the same isn't true for Meta. Meta cares about many things, you know. It cares about making deals with Ray-Bans. They actually look quite cool, to be fair. Uh, probably a better investment to hire the top 100. <laughs> you could easily get 50% of people on the planet to pay $50 for reading. <laughs> I'm not going to read that. Uh, do you know, it's quite interesting, actually. Going back to spending loads on a few researchers sort of reminds me of footballers a bit. Uh, you can get, like soccer players i guess but it would be the same in every sport i suppose but you actually pay so much more you can get two players that are really similar uh but for like every extra percent of performance you probably pay like an insane amount more money for each percent you know so you might have two players but one is just three percent better and you're probably paying an extra 30 million for them uh, i imagine this is all what's going on here i don't know if it's a good use of the money in the case in that sense though like you can probably get the 50 next best research engineers for a lot less money, if you will. But anyway, you know. So, hey, come work for me, 100 million a year. Sure, what's the job and goal? Make ASI make money obsolete. Tell me about an incentive to fail. Uh, hmm? Yeah, but money isn't just going to go away overnight like that. It doesn't work like that. Nice as it is. AI is not going to come and trim my hedges. I had to pay someone the other day, and in my opinion, they didn't do it very well. Kind of annoyed me. Um, but whatever. Something tells me this is not going to work. Hmm. And actually, it's another sports analogy here. Um, some teams, Man United, you know, they, they've spent like a billion and they came near the bottom of the table. So it's not, you can't just throw money at something. It doesn't work like that. Wow. Just imagine all the synergies untapped by putting 50 of the smartest, greediest, most type of type A people in the same room. I don't think greedy people necessarily go into research, especially people who are adults. I don't think this is something that people are like, oh, I'll get into this if you want to become rich in 10, 20 years, you know. I think a lot of us who went into coding did it because we like it. I've only really ever met one person who is in software because they wanted to get rich. Um, I don't see the issue. Wouldn't it be great if everyone in the world was a genius? I think that would be great. Throwing eye-watering amounts of money at the problem certainly worked for the metaverse. That's what I talked about. I don't know how much they I'm pretty sure they spent like 10 billion or something. I can't see why it wouldn't work here. The, the, the difference is AI is already being used on a massive scale by people. It clearly solves problems for people um but it does feel a bit like a race to the bottom and it just feels like whoever can maintain the losses for the longest amount of time will win so my money is on microsoft 
or Google, to be honest. Uh, AI, a open AI feels like it's in this race to sort of become profitable, I guess, or put themselves in a position where they can eat losses for those am amount of time, because that's what it's about. Which is why I didn't, well, I didn't read it, so apologies, but didn't Sam Altman recently, like, isn't he doing like a fundraising round for like six trillion or something stupid? Um, I don't know what that's actually about, but that sort of shows you the numbers we're talking about. We're talking about having such a long runway that you just can't actually go bust. So the, yeah. And almost always great breakthroughs don't come out of showering money. It's a bunch of hungry and devoted guys having all kinds of constraints, working 100 hours a week in a garage, metaphorically. Yeah, definitely constraints. I think a lot of innovation comes from constraints. I love constraints. Uh, and actually, it's what makes games fun, you know. game Like, for me, you know, strategy games are fun because you're sort of trying to optimize within a, an amount of constraints. I went off topic there, but I like the word constraints, and I think constraints are good. Uh, Deep Seek is one example, yes. Yeah, Deep I, I wouldn't say Deep Seek is one example because it is a multi-billion dollar hedge fund with nations, uh, STEM talent, yeah. <laughs> in a cave yeah i feel like that was <clears throat> people being a little bit propagandized by this idea that deep seek is just like a bunch of people with not much money um creating like this fantastic llm that you can just run locally as well which like yeah you can if you have a fifty thousand dollar dc so llms are generally a solved problem at this point and it's just tinkering for better results with less resources uh, yeah i guess so they're solved i think the they have a the floor is definitely a solved problem. The ceiling might not yet be a solved problem. Um, but yeah, a lot of it is tinkering, changing parameters. We've seen how often ChatGPT changes um, when they just make updates to weights, and it's a bit of a black box, so they're probably constantly text testing. Um, but yeah, generally, I don't want to agree too hard on this comment because I don't really know, but I think they're solved problem in the sense that it's pro it does seem quite easy for most people if they have enough data and some infrastructure to create an LLM of some type. <clears throat> or even like just using another LLM as the back end, right? Like an API, and then sort of making their own changes on top of that to make it a bit more uh, applicable to some certain vertical. So higher salary won't magically make people better at AI. These 50 top people are probably already doing their best somewhere else, gathering them to get, yeah, well, that's the point somewhere else gathering them together and throwing some money at them won't suddenly make them produce more i don't think it's about making them produce more it's about making them produce the same amount at meta i believe meta is not behind not for lack of talent but for starting later than others yes for me this is obvious um but keep in mind that they've probably lost talent to companies like OpenAI and uh Gemini or Google and even um, Twitter, I guess, X for their Grok because they didn't start developing it to, until so much later. Uh, so yeah, no one mentions Meta for AI because a lot of the other names established themselves first. It's sort of crazy as well. If you really, if you really think about it, two companies that should have been miles ahead is Meta and Google. And I think even Google started late, but because Google, you know, Google has a lot of smart people and they've got so much data, that them catching up, which they already have done, I feel like was pretty much inevitable. Stopping them from doing their best work at a competitor is also an advantage. Yeah. Wow, another sports analogy. Look what Bayern Munich do. Bayern Munich just buy the best players from all their rivals in their league. <laughs> and that way they can always win, win the league because they make their competition weaker whilst they make themselves stronger. Uh, I don't need to turn everything into a football analogy, but you know, it does work. Zuckerberg will mess up AI like he messed up VR. He didn't mess up. That's so unfair. I don't like Zuckerberg really that much, but he, they've spent billions on trying to improve VR, if anything, and they've probably made the most amount of contributions to VR than anyone else. Even if, in my opinion, it was probably not the right thing to spend money on yet. Again, they'd focused on making LLMs. They probably could have used those to make more progress in other areas. Good engineers know that most problems cannot be solved by just throwing money at them. Well, in the case of LLMs, though, it really is about, you know, more servers. <laughs> so that's just money, you know, horizontal scaling. If they're so ultra, why don't they have AGI already? I don't think we're on the right path for AGI. I'm not an expert in this field. I always say the same thing, you know, don't, don't necessarily... I think we'll have something that looks and feels like AGI. So you could philosophically argue that it is AGI, but I don't think it will actually be AGI, just something that seems like it. 
Like, I don't think it will have its own sort of intelligence, consciousness, and all that stuff, because that's, I don't think they're comp we're not building anything that's that complex, uh, really. Um, or, you know, LLMs don't work like the brain works at all. So I don't like using, it, it, it depends, it's like a definition problem, right? I just don't really like using the term AGI, because, <laughs> you, you know, to me, an AGI is something like Ultron from Marvel. Yeah, no, anything to say. Uh, but my point being is it's something with goals, consciousness and stuff. It's not just something like, um, it's not predictive text. But I will say that I think it will be basically indistinguishable. So from a philosophical point of view, you might be able to say it is, right? And by indistinguishable, I mean, like, they can make it see... Like, it, ChatGPT has a personality, right? It, it, seem, it feels like it has a personality. If, if you gave ChatGPT to some random person from 100 years ago and they spoke to it they would think it's a real they would easily be convinced that it's a real person that it's like true and complete um so it already feels anyway i promise you he isn't paying 100 million salaries this is probably the real truth it'll be it'll be based on some goals that are unachievable perhaps it would literally be more than any of these ceos make in annual compensation uh eh, i guess the CEOs don't really pay themselves compensation. They would just every now and again sell some stocks when their stock is high and give themselves billions. It's completely different. I don't think any CEO, like I don't think like Musk or Zuckerberg are paying themselves hundreds of millions. They just sell stock when it's um, high in the market. It's an additional 5 billion. It doesn't replace infrastructure costs. Agreed. Does that mean he finished the metaverse? <laughs> there is a saying about if you're too early, you're so, it's like, it's still a failure, you know? They, they, they're, the metaverse is just the wrong time. Anyway, if you enjoy listening to me uh, ramble, leave a like, subscribe, watch my other videos, leave a comment. Zuck in charge of an AI is a win for no one but Zuck. Zuck is not only poaching talent from OpenAI, Anthropic Google, and even XAI is going to get the top ML pedigrees from Mr. Deep Seeking Gwen, just like the metaverse. Anyway, I think um, fake and dumb citation needed. There's no reports that Zuckerberg is hiring 50 people at nine figure salaries. Well, there you have it, guys. I should have um, fact checked it. I mean, that wouldn't surprise me. Anyway, let's leave it there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.